what it really enables us to do is both build or develop ultra pure materials and build things out of those ultra pure materials and then use those things we build to do very low background measurements. And these enable all kinds of new physics and frankly, really important new physics. Um, right now, the lab is being used to make copper parts for an experiment that's intended to look for a phenomenon called neutrinoless double beta decay. And this is actually, although not widely known to the world, it's probably one of the most important physics questions out there today because a successful observation of this phenomenon, neutrinoless double beta decay, will allow us to say unequivocally that the neutrino is its own antiparticle, which is a really profound and open question uh, going forward. But it's that complementarity between physics pushing it forward and frankly, also the national security applications push the technologies forward and everybody wins when we do this. And, and frankly, I think it's also a lot of, it's a lot of fun for the scientists and the engineers who get to be part of this. And I think that's just the tip of the iceberg as this so-called cosmic frontier becomes more and more important in physics. Uh, this laboratory, I think, is gonna play a more and more important role uh, going forward because, again, we can make very pure materials, we can measure their level of purity and activity, and we can do very sophisticated low background counting here too to both do the experiments, but also again, assess the materials. And I, that's gonna be tremendously important uh, going forward as this area of physics becomes more and more important in the United States.